All right, so in this example, we're gonna look at changing colors and also adding labels. So um, this map was created in um, ArcGIS Pro. Um, it's just a simple map layout. I didn't put in any ancillary things like scale bars, north arrows, graticules, legend, because um, I just wanted to focus on the colors and the labels for, for this specific example. So as you can see, this is this country boundaries and kind of the Balkans Peninsula area. Okay, so our goal here is to remap colors and then also apply um, um, some labeling. Okay, so let's say, to just start off with, let's say that we want to um, change the colors that we've used in this map space. So to do that, I'm going to do a select all, make sure everything's selected, and then I'm going to go to um, edit followed by edit colors and then re recolor artwork. Okay, so these are the current colors that are on the map. So we've got 11 colors, um, but these two um, are just border colors, and one of them's the water. So we really have eight colors, right, um, that we might want to change that are mapped to continent or uh, to country boundaries. So to choose colors, what I'm going to do is pull up Color Brewer. I'm going to bring that over. So what we're looking at here is qualitative, right? So categories, and we have a total of eight, and we want to find a color ramp that we think works well um, for this specific classification. Let's say we like this, okay? So um, we're gonna work with these uh, collars. We should have eight there, and we're gonna try to remap our collars that we have um, that we're using. So to do this is pretty simple. So I'm just going to pull my pull that over to the other monitor, and to do the remapping, we can just simply dump in all of the hex codes that we want. So for example, the first collar, which was kind of like a blue collar, was eight DD three seven three C seven three C seven, and if we hit OK we should see that remapping there. And then you would just go through and do that for each one with the hex codes. So I'm gonna cut here and we'll come back in once I've had time to, to do that. Okay, so we're back now and I went through and remapped all of those colors to the colors that I selected from the Color Brewer website. So if we select, select OK, that should get applied and now we have our map with our new uh, color distribution. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna look at is actually creating um, labels. So there are no labels to move. I didn't label it an arc. I wanted to just start from scratch. Okay, so, um, so let's just do like one of each feature type. And then um, when we're done with that, we'll move back. Um, I'll do a cut and then we'll, I'll show you what, we, what I ended up with. Okay, so to start off, let's label a water body. So um, this is the Black Sea, right? So let's add in that. So Black Sea. Um, let's pick a font. So we'll go in here to font. And we'll do this and italic. And maybe make it a little bit bigger. And maybe like 21. And lastly, let's pick a collar for that. So we want maybe like a, a blue collar that's darker than the actual water features. So um, we can do that from, let's, uh, let's go into, oh, I'm sorry. Got to select collar here. Yeah, uh, let's move into, so we got basically a blue there. Let's uh, tone it down a little and darken it some and see what that looks like. Maybe a little too dark. Let's uh, bump that up in terms of the brightness. Maybe it doesn't look too bad. So that would be an example of adding in 
um, a label for a water body. Another thing we might want to do is maybe rotate it a bit, so it's kind of um, against the long axis of the of the water body. Okay, and then what I would do instead of doing that from scratch each time, I would no for other water bodies, I would just use that as a template. So, if for example, hold down Alt, we can move that around and make copies to where we may want to label things, and then we can go back through and actually um, and then actually change the labels. So, um, you know, I'd probably want to put a label in here for the the Aegean Sea, Mediterranean. Adriatic, yeah, so on and so forth. Okay, so that's that. The next thing we want to do is create a, a label for our countries. So I'm going to start over. Uh, we'll just use Romania here as our default. Uh, for this, to differentiate it from the water bodies, I'm going to not italicize it. So we'll change this to regular. And maybe we want to lighten it a bit. Um, so right now it's basically black. So we could fiddle around with with light or lightening up the black a bit. Here I'm just doing that with the brightness. I think that looks okay. Maybe a slightly less. Maybe pull the saturation down a bit. I think that looks okay. And then that can become a template. So we can go in here and you know, can hold down Alt. We can make copies of that label for all of the different countries. And then we can go through and edit them in terms of you know rotating them, changing the size, obviously changing the, the label. So I'm going to cut here, and then we'll come back in with what I ended up with. I've got all my countries labeled, and I'm just going to do some slight reworking. Note I did change the color of the water and the and the country labels there a little bit, um, and I'm just adding in my last few set of labels here. So, for example, forgot, I'm adding in Turkey now. Again, I'm trying to add a label along the long axis. And did I miss anything else? I guess I missed uh, Moldovia there, so we'll uh, grab something that would maybe be a comparable size. Move that over. Again, I'm just holding down Alt and type that in. Okay, so that's a that's basically it. So let's look at just some you know how the the settings we use and so on and so forth. All right, so again for most of the countries, I tried to label along the long axis. Again, you want to make sure you leave a, a a gap between the the border and the label just so it doesn't look cramped. I try to center them as best as I can. Um, obviously, some features that's more difficult to do than others. Um, I guess I didn't label Lebanon there, but obviously you would maybe label that up and down. Um, Cyprus there looks like it's a little too far down. It's really um, getting, it's hitting the border of the feature. So move that a little bit to try to give it some, some space there. Um, again, like some things are difficult, like Greece, you know, it's got the archipelago and everything. So um, it kind of crosses between land and water. But I think that was more of a better label than to put it like completely up here in the land or down here because then it's kind of ambiguous what's what right so that's why i stretched that across um croatia was another one that was kind of difficult and it's got such a odd shape with the long coastline and then this inland area um and maybe moving it up a little so it's the labels basically in the entire feature or within the feature maybe try to get it into the land where it doesn't overlap the land and water um, would be another option so again it's just a lot of like fine-tuning and, and just trying to look at the labels and make sure that their decisions make sense everything looks clean and well labeled um, and then for the ocean features again they were in italics 
I changed the size based on kind of the relative size of things. So, you know, like the Black Sea and the Mediterranean Sea are labeled with larger font size than the Aegean or the Adriatic. Um, I also labeled the Mediterranean Sea twice. Um, I'm not really sure that's good or bad in this case. Um, the idea here is that these seem somewhat disconnected. So to make it clear that this is the same water body, I just I just labeled it twice, but you could argue whether that makes any sense. Okay, let's say that you're happy with that. So again, once you're done, again, I would recommend saving. If you want to have a clean copy without any of your color changes or labels, then you could do a save as. And then if we save that out to a vector graph or a raster graphic like a PNG, I'm just going to put it here on my desktop for now, we should get a final um, result that could you know, be shared. So hit OK. And let's go in here and look at the result. There we go. OK, so that's an example of doing some college changes and some labeling operations in Adobe Illustrator.